Science 3. Uses of various science equipment and materials used in simple activities. In this lesson, you will practice using your senses and some common materials to learn more about your body and how unique it is. This lesson will also help you explore and understand the ideas of measurement and length. This activity will also help you practice using common science tools and materials. You'll also get to compare your observations and data with your classmates, showing how each result can be unique and different from others. What parts of my body make me unique? Look at your hands, your fingers, and your thumbs. Did you know that your fingers have patterns that are uniquely yours? Let's try some activities. Activity 1. What parts of my body make me unique? Our bodies come in different sizes and unique characteristics. In the previous lessons, you used your senses to describe the things around you. In this lesson, you will explore other parts of your body and see how they make you unique. You will also use some materials to help you observe more closely. Materials, pencil, paper, cardboard, clear tape, hand lens, ruler, string, scissors. Procedure. Part A. My fingerprint. 1. Rub the pencil on a piece of paper to make an ink pad. 2. Gently rub your thumb over the ink pad. Move your finger around so that the black powder from the pencil gets on most of the fingertip. 3. Ask a classmate to pull off a piece of clear tape about the length of your thumb. Cut the tape with a scissor or tape dispenser. 4. Gently place the tape over your thumb to transfer the mark. 5. Lift your finger off the tape and place the tape with your thumb mark on the cardboard. Look closely at your fingerprint with a hand lens. 
everyone's fingerprints are unique. This means that no two people have exactly the same fingerprints. Even twins differ in their fingerprints. However, fingerprints can come in three different patterns, a loop, a whorl, or an arch. Loop. This pattern curves around and comes back on itself, like a loop. Whorl. This looks like a circle or spiral, kind of like a bullseye. Arch. This pattern rises in the center like a hill and then flows down. Guide questions. Part B My Hand Span One, place your hand over a paper and spread your fingers wide. Two, with a pencil, trace your open hand on the paper. Three, with a ruler, draw a straight line on your traced hand from the tip of the thumb to the tip of the little finger. This is your hand span. Show your traced hand with a line showing your hand span to your teacher and classmates. Notice that your hand span may be shorter or longer than those of others. You can use your hand span to measure length. How to use your hand span to measure length. Today we will decorate the board with ribbon. But I have to measure the length of this board to know how much ribbon is required to decorate this board. We can measure its length with our hands. Look. Like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The length of the board is 5 hand span. What is hand span? The measurement taken by hand is called hand span. Gaffy, now you try and tell me what is the length of your table? Time, 2. No, not like that. While taking measurements, you have to keep in mind that there should be no gap between your hands while measuring any object. And we also have to keep in mind that we do not measure any place twice. No problem, let's try once again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. The length of the table is 6 hand spans. Guide questions. Deepening understanding of the key idea, STEM. How the thumb mark or fingerprint is useful in other aspects of our daily life. Which of the materials we used in the activity helped you observe your fingerprint more closely? How did the hand lens help you in observing your thumb mark? The hand lens made the fingerprint patterns look larger than they are which helped in identifying and classifying fingerprints into a loop, a whorl, or an arch.
What if you asked your other classmates to measure your arm length with their handspan? Do you think they would get the same number of handspans as you did? What tools can be used to measure length? Ruler, tape measure, meter stick. Why is a ruler a better option in measuring length than a handspan? Ruler helps make accurate measurements. Evaluating learning.